Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. I was really excited to let everyone know about some new keyboard shortcuts that I've added to my keyboard shortcuts mod. There is a version of keyboard shortcuts mod on the Steam Workshop that I did not create, and um, I don't care. Um, someone else, I mean, whatever, it doesn't make any, it doesn't matter to me, but um, my version has more stuff and it's better, so there. And uh, you can only find it on um, the link to this video and on Roomba.tv slash mods because that's just where I put stuff and I don't really, I don't like, I don't, I just, I don't want to do Steam Workshop. It's too much work. So here's what I've added. I've been playing, as you've seen, lots and lots and lots of EU4 and there's certain things that I just found were absolutely driving me nuts as far as like what I needed to control. So for instance, appointing army leaders has now been rebound to the N key. So if you select an army, and you are in a province that you are allowed to normally click this button, you can just press the N key, it'll pull it up. You can then pick a character and then put him in charge. Now, this is the part that I really like, though. If you have an army selected, you can press the N key to bring that interface up, and then press the N key again to automatically press the No Leader button. So let's say, for example, I needed to um, teleport a leader from here down to another province. You just click on the army, N, N, grab another army, N, and then click. It's just, it's much faster to appoint and unappoint leaders. While you're sieging, Paradox, in their infinite wisdom, thought that they should bind the Show Province button to P and the Select Army button to J. Now, there's no indicator anywhere on here. They didn't put it in the tooltip. They didn't say, um, Select Army. I'm looking for the J in there. There isn't one. I mean, at least Show Province is marginally um, logical. But what I did is I bound... Uh, show province to V and show siege to V. So if you click on a hostile province where you are sieging, you can just press the V key and it will automatically cycle back and forth between the two views. Both, it's the same button. And, and since they're mutually excuse, exclusive, it makes sense. Now, of course, if you don't have an enemy province selected, the V key will still bring up the army um, creation screen. If you have a, a hostile siege selected, then the B key will select army. Again, if you don't have any, anything selected, the B key still brings up the build interface, um, which is kind of unnecessary these days, actually, since you can press V and then 2, or sorry, V and then 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, um, to do that. But um, why, why is this useful? Well, as you remember in the past, the B key is the army reorganization unit. So if you have an army selected, this is what I'm always finding myself doing. Maybe I've got a, a hostile siege out in Burgundy and I want to go looting, right? I want to go pillage their lands and destroy their tax income. Well, I was always having to click on an army, click select army, and then I could go B, 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 and then select unit. And this is still pretty fast, right? To click this button. I could create little armies and then I could spread them out. That's fine. But by using the B key as, a, as an army bound, button, you can just click on it and then press BBB and just automatically get right there. So there's no more clicking that first click. Additionally, when you have the army re reorganization screen open, the C key will select this unit and the X key will select this unit. Now in the EU4 version of keyboard shortcuts, the X key does not automatically disband armies. And that's because X will select cavalry. That's the default. And I don't like the idea of overriding it. It makes sense the way that they have it. C, X, and Z selects different unit types. So X can very easily be used to select the left side and not have to worry about accidentally disbanding anything. Now, I do, there is one minor thing, you have to be cautious, like if you have cavalry in the army and you press the X key twice, you'll accidentally select just the cavalry. So you gotta be careful, but you can go B, B, X, B, B, X, B, B, X, B, B, X, and you can just create little one regiment armies and then disband or get rid of it. Now we've got a perfect little set that we could then spread out to loot, for example, if we were going to do looting. So it's very convenient. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I added in. Don't think that there was. But those key bindings I have found so far make a big difference. Like, especially if you just wanted one guy. B, 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 C. Grab it and go. You want to, like, create a scout. B, 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 C. Done. Like, you, once you get that in your head and you just know that it's available to you at all times, B, 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 C. Uh, I did it twice. All right, it's B, B, C. Oh, in this case, yeah, it's B, B, C here, B, 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 C here because of the hostile siege. I knew that. 
Um, the army disbanding and everything, that works with the navies as well. And uh, yeah, there's going to be a link in the description. Try it out. I think you'll like it. It's going to also have the better... Um, it's going to have the better peace deals view and the bigger diplomacy view bundled into it, since I find those things to be absolutely essential these days. But that is uh, my mod pack for 1.7. So thanks for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Let me know how you like it. And um, if there's any other suggestions that you have, things that should be key bound, things you find yourself doing quite often, then I am open to adding more stuff in. I think that um, making the game easier to play is, is something I'm very interested in. So, all right. Thanks for watching. See you soon.